Hey, it's Pete C for Sample Live Review, and today I'm checking out Revelation Scoring Grand from Sound Yeti. Sound design giant Sound Yeti have entered the world of the scoring piano. Their starting point is a wonderfully sampled Steinway Grand Piano Model O, which in true Sound Yeti style has been given their sound design treatment. With tons of effects, a three layer system and a great amount of presets to get you started, this piano may be the only cinematic scoring piano you may need. The Revelation Scoring Grand downloads at 6.24 gigabytes and features a sampled Steinway Grand Piano Model O. There are four mic perspectives and it's based upon a three layer synth system. There are 100 presets and a huge amount of controls and effects to customize your sound. It requires the free contact player 6.5.3 or better and is also NKS ready. At the moment, the Revelation Scoring Grand is on sale for $79 and normally it sells for $129. Now I've loaded up the Revelation Scoring Grand in complete control as it is NKS compatible. If you do use, like I do, native instruments controllers, everything out of the box, velocities, everything, it just works so perfectly well. So here is the Revelation Scoring Grand. Out the box, it just sounds great. It is so cinematic. Now, I'm using the sustain pedal to bring out those pads. And that is the triple layer system, which we'll talk more about shortly. Now, one thing I've noticed, the Revelation Scoring Grand uh, like uh, logo or text at the top animates. And I love little touches like that. So you can see the revelation just sort of like rippling away. Now I'm just going to bring the GUI down a little bit as there are some controls down the bottom. And it is a big GUI, but you can see the range of the piano on the yellow keys. So if I go right down to the low A. It sounds great. It's very clear, there's no muddiness. And then towards the top, again, it's not very harsh. And then the mid-range, again, sounds absolutely lovely. Now there are four mics at the top, so you have the sub, the near, the mid and the far, and you can just toggle these on and off as you'd like to. So if you want to go really, really ambient, uh, if you just go, let's just go far. So you've got that nice distance, or you could just go close mic. And let's bring the reverb right down. That sounds great. 
And then you have different characters. So you can have the felt, the pedal, and the mechanical release. So if you want everything just completely clean, that works really, really well. Now let's just bring the delay off completely. And this is just delay for the layers. So there is some delay already on the piano. So bring that down. Okay, so you can have a really nice like close piano sound if you want to. And then down here you have the effects. So we'll look at these in a lot more detail. Um, but this is yeah how you control everything. So you can turn off all these different uh, delay effects. So there's delay A and B and different reverbs. Now what I'm going to do is play through some of these 100 presets. There is so much going on with these. And of course you can filter these out through different characters. And let's just load deep and plucky. You can see how quick it all loads. And let's just play something. So it's just a piano sound. Uh, let's just go deep, concert grand. So I'm actually loading ones with the layers muted. Oh, that wasn't quite loaded then. So they have just the piano uh, with some reverb. So as I say, I'm gonna turn off the mic and just play through some of these presets.
So out of the box, all these sound absolutely great. And the sound design is very, very cool. Lots of different uses. You can have pulses. You can have uh, sort of more pads behind it. Now, looking at the controls, I've loaded up the forgotten instrument. I absolutely love that felt sound. Now, let's say I want just the pad. So you can actually turn the piano off completely and have just the layers, or you can get rid of the layers and have just the pad, sorry, the piano. And that just turns this whole instrument into a pad machine if you want to. So let's bring the piano down again and we'll talk about different layers. Now the layers are everything that goes on behind the piano. If you want to change the sample, simply you just click on the layer and you can load the sample you want. So I'm just going to slightly change these. And now we have a different sound. And you can bring the volume up, obviously. So. So all of these different samples you can get for each of the three layers, and there are absolutely stacks of them. So it's going through different categories, and it's very typical of uh, the Sound Yeti instruments I've used. Like I say, I do use Ambition a lot, and there's just so much content. So you can just create different different pads. If you want to randomize the samples, you can do them separately or you can just do the whole lot so i've set it to randomize three different layers let's do it one more time Excuse me, that was my uh, Windows menu coming up. So, yeah, um, great. You have piano and you have uh, pads or motion or whatever you set it to, and it just works really well together. Okay, so then you have all of the effects. So you have delays and reverbs, but there's so much going on with them. Now you can see you have delay A up here, and we have delay A, delay A, delay B. So if I want to click on the effects, I can change delay A. So you have these different types of delays, and you just toggle it on and off. You have all of your different controls, but of course you have, again, all of these uh, different delay presets. So if I want some old, no, let's go, do you remember? And then let's go. In fact, if I just put just the piano on. So the piano is using delay A, um, almost purple. 
there's that kind of delay. If I go modern, flying high. So, sounds completely different. Let's go diffusion, dark dreams. So more of a subtle delay there. So of course the delay will be whatever you set the layer to. So if you want to change delay B, for example, um, just click on delay B and you can change what that is. Then the reverb, the reverb is the same for every layer and the piano, but there are so many different reverbs and these impulse responses. So you can have a completely different sound. That's auditorium A. Let's go really big, cathedral B. Let's exaggerate it. And let's go one more. Whoops. Um, let's go hardwood room, hardwood room A. So we have different Tarbra, um, depending on the room you put in. Let's just turn the felt off. And like I say, have that instant cinematic sound. And there are various controls for different reverbs as there are for delays. So that's how the GUI works. Now there are, back to the settings, um, you can easily on each layer change the ADSR um, and it sort of changes depending on what you put in and also you can change the EQ exactly to your taste so there's a low cut there and then you have different LFO shapes and you can play around those um, and those different parameters and you can do that for every single layer so in terms of being customizable really really easy to do you've got a really handy reset uh, for the piano and also the layers and our randomized samples. So for $79 on intro at the moment, the content is huge. Um, there's so much you can do as piano, but just starting off, if I was to load up the concert grand, it just is a gorgeous sounding piano. I will let all those load. <laughs> And you do have the ability to just have just this gorgeous, wonderful piano. So for me, Revelation Scoring Grand, it's not only great value for money, it's really typically uh, high quality, which is what you expect from Sound Yeti. And yeah, fitting this into, into cues, it's going to sound great. And yeah, a lot of the uh, sort of examples I've played are full of delay and reverb, but you can get rid of that if you want to and just have a straight ahead piano. Well, my final thoughts about the Revelation Scoring Piano are if you don't have a sound design piano, this is an absolute bargain. It sounds great. It's very, very usable. Plenty you can do with it um, in terms of creating different sounds. But if you're making underscore, you're doing tension or drama or crime this is a really really valuable tool i love the fact there are a hundred presets to get you going sound yeti do have a tendency to make expansions so ambition there are i think five expansions available now and with hope they will add to revelation because i think it is a fantastic piano great value for money and it is just instant cinema Thank you so much for checking out this first look of Revelation Scoring Grand by Sound Yeti. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a comment, drop a like on the video, and if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Please check out our other videos and head over to samplibreview.com to check out everything that's going on in the world of virtual instruments. Until next time, have a great day, and we'll meet again soon.